హాయ్ హలో వెల్కమ్ టు మహానటి స్పెషల్ షో మీ గాజల్తో ఈరోజు మన మహానటి స్పెషల్ షోలో మనతో పాటు ఉన్నారు అలీ గారు అలీ గారు ఎవరు అని అనుకుంటున్నారు కదా ఏం లేదండి మన మహానటి మూవీలో ఫస్ట్ టైం సల్మాన్ దుల్కర్ గారు ఈ వుడెన్ కెమెరా వాడడం జరిగింది అలాగే సమంత గారు టైప్ మెషిన్ వాడారు విజయ్ దేవరకొండ మీడియా కెమెరా వాడారు సో ఇలాంటివి ఇంకా చాలా వాడారు మహానటి మూవీలో సో ప్రతి ఒక్కదానికి ఒక స్టోరీ అనేది ఉంటుంది సో ఇవన్నీ ప్రొవైడ్ చేసింది మన అలీ గారు అనమాట సో ఏమాత్రం లేట్ చేయకుండా ఆయనతో మాట్లాడి ఈ మూవీతో ఉన్న ఆయనకు ఉన్న ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఏంటో హలో అలీ హాయ్ హౌ యూ ఐఎమ్ గుడ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ హౌ యూ ఏ ఐఎమ్ డూయింగ్ గుడ్ థ్యాంక్స్ లాట్ హే యూ లుకింగ్ గ్రేట్ ఓకే సో ఫస్ట్లీ హ్యాపీ కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ ఫర్ ద సక్సెస్ ఆఫ్ మహా నటి హౌ యూ ఫీలింగ్ ఐఎమ్ ఫీలింగ్ గుడ్ వెన్ యూ సీ యువర్ ప్రొడక్ట్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ ఇట్ మేక్స్ యూ ఫీల్ సో ప్రౌడ్ అండ్ హ్యాపీ So the time when you actually bought that camera, yeah. so did you ever think that this would be used in a movie? I think uh, Mahanati is, uh, was destined for so many people and uh, imagine I bought this camera seven years back mm. and uh, it's not about just this camera. When I met for the second time to Priyanka at her office, she showed me the mood board oh. and there is only one thing which was missing it was a staple oh and uh, as if the mood board was made by me or person who know what i have so everything what they have put it in the mood board i have the exactly the same thing and the you know magic happens and this camera was like in their mood board in a black and white picture oh. and i was like where you got this picture from i was like this was used by jemni in jemni studio and i was like i think i have the similar camera or the same one oh and next day she was at my place and <laughs> she was shocked to see that camera <laughs> yeah okay and how did you get this offer uh, there is a friend of mine uh, olga she posted a, a picture of a portable gramophone of 1920 mm. and then priyanka was following her and she inquired like where you found this and then next day she was at my place and uh, then she was like are you interested in uh, being a part of mahanati so i was like i don't know what is mahanati <laughs> and i have zero clue who, who was savitri before mahanati people approached me uh, for movie and i was not that keen on doing things okay but uh, yeah but mahanati changed my complete view of like the way i used to look to hollywood industry or any film industry hmm. actually it's a, one of the most amazing experience uh, experience and one of the most amazing professions to be in oh yeah lovely actually yeah oh my god <laughs> yes uh, i <laughs> you know <laughs> once the shooting was done you have the eagerness to see the movie but the process of making movie is more interested than watching, l- than watching the movie hmm. yeah so you enjoyed thoroughly i loved it you loved it it yes. shows on your face <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay <laughs> so which is your first thing you bought first the first camera uh first of all anything? when i was trying to like when i bought that camera i didn't know that it was a camera oh yeah it's there the tiny one this yeah. one yeah i thought oh. it was like you know you, you used to have the pencil sharpeners yeah old days yeah yeah so you put the pencil from here and then you have this lever so i thought this is the lever what you oh. used to, <laughs> to and i sh- i was like how come i can put a pencil <laughs> red <laughs> <laughs> like okay so you were thinking very so but i bought it first because it got a very nice glittering uh, brass yeah uh, right it's a beautiful camera though oh. and then uh, my father told me that uh, no it's not a shop it's, it's not a shop but it's a camera it's a camera how old were you i was uh, i think i was in 8th or something yeah okay from 8th class you have this habit of collection no you know i used to save my pocket money oh. and i used whenever my parents used to get me toys i used to open that toys and try to fix it and <laughs> while fixing it i don't know some miracles happens that few screws are always extra oh uh, so i 
used to destroy the things okay dismantle dismantle them again that. yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's so interesting actually yeah so you was so ayana collection start chesina appudu first teesukundi idanta kaani teesukuna appudu ayana teliyadu that it camera ani so idi sharpener anukunnaru anta sharpener vachesi ikkad nunchi sharp chesanu kon pencil ekkada pettali ikkada ekkada pettali ani kuda aalochinchananta so idi vaal teesukundi thanu 8th class lo unna appudu beautiful kada chaala baagundi tiny ga beautiful camera no yes. antique ga all right so this is really a very beautiful and a tiny camera yes lovely so up kaun se it's a, you know you had this passion towards collecting think, old uh, things i think i was age. very much uh, attracted towards the technology behind the cameras rather than cameras like a product camera mm-hmm. so the next camera what i bought was very different from this one okay and i was like how come like both of them are cameras but they are ex- like very different from each other so that build a uh, lot of interest in me and and then i slowly 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 started collecting cameras and i didn't realize that when this thing became passion and later how my passion became obsession and now i am possessed so how did you feel the time when you you have seen the movie for the first time you're seeing your things on screen how was your feeling when you are part of a movie making so there are more than 200 people working in like behind the scenes and there is a lot of things happening light cameras you know b- costume boys everything. costume it's 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 a full chaos and in this chaos didn't realize that what's act- what's the, how the scene is looking or whatever it is right but when you see the end product in the theater you know you you feel so proud of yourself that no matter how big or small you are a part of the movie making it shows it shows your hard work wow yeah. that's so sweet so you felt uh, proud the time when I you saw i was so happy you were yeah. very happy yeah tell me something about your mom i mean how did she feel the time when you said oh. that uh, <laughs> first of all i'm learning telugu okay uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully our next interview will be in telugu <laughs> oh lovely so koncham telugu lo emaina mana viewers ki emaina okka line anything yeah ikkada telugu lo maatladandi ikkada telugu lo maatladandi that's that sounds very good but it's like robot robots maatladtaru kada ikkada telugu lo maatladandi <laughs> but that's yeah. so sweet i'm like, learning telugu oh. so i didn't know who was savitri okay and uh, i told my mom that you know this a people making a movie on uh, a celebrity savitri do you know her and she is like she is amazing and she started telling stories about her and and she was feeling so happy that she saw savitri on the elephant when she was in hyderabad oh and she was like you know savitri waved me and that was like <laughs> <laughs> by seeing her expressions by seeing her happiness i was like no matter what but i'm doing this oh lovely you felt really happy i believe the time when you, when your mom said this yeah i was like why well, i i, I uh, at that point of time i could do anything to make my mom happy oh that's yeah. so sweet as lovely son <laughs> 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 okay and uh, the time when you were collecting all this were your parents uh, buying no. that why do you do this no one was supportive even though uh, there was no restrictions on me or so called uh, don't do that types yeah there was no strict restrictions but they were not at all happy because spending money on something and okay you buy one you buy two you buy three like imagine 700 or more than 700 more than 700 yeah so no one will like uh, yeah true uh, how do you get to know that you know uh, a particular thing is at particular place how do you get to know from mumbai chennai delhi and uh, i used to go to this flea markets and uh, the small antique dealers or people who sell the scrap 
Okay. So I, I used to travel a lot and I used to buy things from them and slowly slowly people start recognizing me and they know what is uh, in what products I am interested in. Later they used to call me and tell me that we have this can you come and uh, like if you are interested um, like why don't you oh. come and So you are that famous that people used to call you that you um, know we have this so I think you would like it. Yeah so they want to sell it and I want to buy so. How do you manage? You know when you are passionate uh, there is no limit for your passion. True. And when you know your limitations the journey of r achieving your passion is more interesting. What are your hobbies? Oh, I my mean, what hobby. What Ali does in free time? I like collecting old stuff. I love history. Okay. And uh, also in hobbies, you have the same he, passion, uh, hobbies, life, work, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> possessiveness, everything towards these. Yes, I like traveling also. Okay, so also like uh, traveling. Yes, that's what I do. <laughs> okay, traveling and uh, collecting. Usually, you know, what people does is like, you know, old stuff, they don't like it. When my first interview was out, a person called me and he told me that uh, he's looking for a gramophone. Can I help him? And I was like, uh, I don't sell things. And he was like, no, it is almost six months that I am not listening to music and have that old uh, LP records and I want to play on my gramophone. Can you repair my gramophone? And Aww. while he was talking and every second sentence where uh, you are not angry, no, you are not angry. So imagine the people who used this. They are in like 70s, 80s and that I'm glad that my things came out and I came to know about that person. I really want to gift him a gramophone. Oh. I'm meeting him next week. Lovely. And imagine the environment he's living in where he's asking his yeah. people to just repair a gramophone and they are getting angry on him. And this That's guy really can't l live without that because he wants to enjoy his movements. Right. And I was feeling so bad and at the same time I was feeling that I love meeting those people. Oh. And uh, I think... Uh, yeah, there are very few people like that. People who used to use these cameras, still they are alive but you know... The, even they can't remember that where are uh, the cameras, cameras. And when they see it for the first time that expressions are to made to capture right and how old is that camera it's a uh, 1905 1905 yeah. oh my god first time savitra first time salman durkar garu uh, photo so that camera adi 1905 naati camera anta so apart from uh, this camera, what all you have used in the movie? Uh, we have used typewriters. That's Samantha. Uh, no, she Samantha's uses. is the orange one. Okay. And uh, we have used radios, we have used gramophones. Okay. And it's not just about the props what we have used. I was a part of, uh, I was working hand in hand with the art direction, with the product designing team and uh, costume department oh. because uh, each product have many things like every product have a story. Right. First is what is the technology behind that product, second where it has been made, third who are the people who were using. Do you do any research the time when you take something, you buy something? First of all, uh, like whenever I come across any product, first thing is like, do I have the similar one? Okay. If no, I don't care that what it is, I need to I have that it. in my collection. Hook or by so hook, I once. want it. <laughs> yeah, but in all the legal ways. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in so. all legal ways I want it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once the product is here, so I, the process of cleaning those things and restoring it, I love that. 
oh. it's my kind of meditation what i do oh and then you know about the technology about the metal material about like when it was made and by whom it was used and then i do lot of research on it oh and i always whenever i buy something i always try to know that who was the person who used it and what is the story behind that product oh and majority of the time it is difficult to know but whenever i know i literally make a note and i like keep that note with that product that this product was used by so and so so and so at yeah. that point of time yeah that's so sweet and you said that that's of uh, 1905 yes. if i'm not wrong yeah so is there anything else apart from that here which is from that era this is 1890 lens 1890 mm, oh yeah. my god this lens is of 1890 and this is one of the oldest thing i have in my collection oh yeah and now you have lens suits on the cameras right this was the earlier lens suits okay so just to protect from the light right and now you have this aperture ring right and <gasps> then you have shutter okay oh lovely so yeah so the major invention what happened is the camera means the lens imagine you send a r- rocket in uh, space or and if you can't capture what is the research you are getting back to and imagine like we are having a interview here now and without l- lens or without camera like w- you think it will be more interesting <laughs> i know no so uh, everything is connected to lens like connected to camera and this is the era of selfies and social media right so yeah f- so the technology which revolved from that era to cut film holders from wet plate photography to cut film from cut film to roll film from roll film to color film and from film to pixels so this journey yeah, uh, and i'm blessed that i'm not just living in the present but also i am living in the past oh so and uh, let's see what you're blessed in that way yeah i'm right? blessed apart from all these let's come to a different side uh would you like to tell something about your family yeah i uh, i'm the youngest one i have a brother and a sister mm-hmm. and uh, i think this uh, collecting things came from my father Oh. and he got it from his father All so right. my grandfather used to collect uh, watches pocket watches clocks oh and my father also collects books pens and i collect this. these so things my mom was not at all happy <laughs> me collecting things so she always used to think that she is the second wife and the first wife is my father's passion oh. yeah and then she was like No, I am not going to allow you to ruin <laughs> your life. <laughs> oh. uh, one more question, Ipro. You just now said that your grandfather used to have that watches and your dad used to have that books. Mm. So also you have that in your collection? No. My grandfather ha- uh, had many kids. Oh. So when things got distributed, everyone like got one. Got one. some of the things, but okay. no one got up. Oh. M- major part of that collection so it's all gone okay and uh, i am very limited with my uh, the only th- uh, when i can't sleep i just take a book and i read one line and okay. i go to sleep oh. so i'm so bad with that uh, reading things okay. so uh, that's not my subject at all okay yeah so i love what i do and i have freedom to do what i do సో ఓల్డ్ ఇస్ గోల్డ్ అనేది దీన్నే అంటారు బహుశా అంటే నేను ఎప్పుడు చూడలేదు బట్ ఐ థింక్ సీరియస్లీ ఓల్డ్ ఇస్ గోల్డ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ట్రూ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆస్క్ మీ ఐ సే ఓల్డ్ ఇస్ ప్రెషియస్ దెన్ గోల్డ్ ఓ దాట్స్ సో స్వీట్ బికాస్ గోల్డ్ అవును సీరియస్లీ గోల్డ్ కొక ఏది ఉంటది గాని ఓల్డ్ ఇస్ ప్రెషియస్ అని ఇప్పుడు నుంచి మనం అందాం ఓకేనా Yeah. Okay, done? <laughs> okay, so thank you so very much, so Ali. Much. That was thank really so wonderful much. having you here. And Pleasure is all mine. Wonderful experience. And I really wish 
మీరు ఇంకా ఇలాంటివి చాలా కలెక్ట్ చేయాలి ఇంకా మూవీస్లో ఇంకా చూపించాలి ఇలాంటివి బికాస్ ఇలాంటి యూనో యాంటిక్ వన్ ఎక్కడ చూడ్డానికి దొరకదు సీరియస్గా చెప్పాలంటే సో ఇంకా మీరు ఇలాంటివి చాలా మూవీస్లో చాలా చేయాలని మనస్ఫూర్తిగా కోరుకుంటున్నాను అండ్ విష్ యూ ఆల్ ద వెరీ బెస్ట్ ఫర్ యువర్ ఫ్యూచర్ యాజ్ వెల్ దాట్ వాజ్ లవ్లీ మీటింగ్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో వెరీ మచ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఓకే వ్యూవర్స్ చూసారు కదా ఈరోజు మన మహానటి స్పెషల్ షో సో ఓల్డ్ ఇస్ గోల్డ్ అండానికి నిలువెత్త నిదర్శనం మన అలీ గారు సో దిస్ ఇస్ యువర్ కాజల్ సైనింగ్ ఆఫ్ బాయ్